Hello everyone, welcome to Grace Hollow Rabbitry. I'm PJ. I hope you can see me. <laughs> um, oh, that noise scared me. Uh, today is Tuesday. Um, I had the day off. Uh, Do Little is actually going through some testing. Uh, if you've been on the Facebook page, you know Do Little uh, is going through um, a, a slurry of battery of testing. Uh, they're testing her for um, autism. And if, if it's not autism, they're looking to see uh, for some kind of diagnosis. So anyway, I was off work today. Uh, her appointment was uh, from 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock this afternoon. Well, she was finished at 2. Uh, and then we had lunch. We done some shopping. And we got home. And now that I'm home, I've got a project I want to work on tonight. Oops, not focusing. Not just the time. Come on. It doesn't want to focus. Hey. Oh, yes, look at him. So I'm working on... I'm going to put a storage section here on the back porch for woodworking. There he is. Piece. I guess. See, has a very faded blue tail. Looks just like a blue-tailed skink. But I'm guessing it's a female because not a lot of blue. I assume. That already has a reason. I'm not even focused on it. Well. I lost it. There we go. There she is. Alright, now don't get too close to me. Oh, 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 I'm go fine back with the other way. If it bites, it's not going to bite too hard. Don't drop your tail. You'll scare me. Ah. It's like right okay. next to me. Ah. Let me see if I can back off a little bit. Oh, oh, She's oh. like right on my legs. There it goes. Oh, where'd it go? She's not even a foot away from me. She's probably terrified of this. Two big humans staring at her. Well, she's the one who walked right over here. She seems she's probably more curious. I oh, don't you dare walk on my toes. She's looking for a way to escape. She's looking for my toes. Can she fit through the crack in the porch? <gasps> ah! She's behind you, under the chair. <laughs> okay, anyway, she's gone. Um, I need to clean all this up. Um... The, the skink, boy, look at that. That's where all those mice were. See her? Well, there. There she is. She's in there. Um, she's watching me from uh, the old uh, mouse nest. Had a lot of poop there. I guess that was the old mouse bathroom. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this is some stuff. So I've got to get those all cleaned up. Uh, I'm going to make a storage area here. And we'll talk about that a little more later. Uh, but anyway, my project is to clean all this up and uh, get, get the storage put in. And then... <laughs> Put all this mess that you've seen all strewn about, uh, but actually organized and placed. So I'm going to go ahead and get a broom and start cleaning that up.
now that we got that corner cleaned out and then we got a little bit of workspace here time to continue with the next step have four legs. All right, so next thing. Okay, now the shelves, the way I understand it, as I don't know if I'm too far away, let me move up. If you insert these with this at the top, the shelf will sit on it for smooth. But I want them this way so it's recessed. That way things won't roll off my shelves. So I'm going to do it that way. And I don't want this to go um, directly on the ground. I want it up a little bit.
messed up. I might have a problem. Alright, so this one is okay. I might have a major problem now. I do. I've got this upside down. I don't suppose I can pull it apart. Break my lights. All right, well, that was a lesson learned. So if you ever buy these, don't learn the hard way the way I did. You want to pay attention and make sure these are going the right direction. See the... Uh, they're not screws, they're some sort of bolts. Uh, you want the you want them going in the same direction. There's kind of like a teardrop. There's a bulby part at top and a slender part on the bottom. And you want them going in the same direction.
Okay, just to make this easier, I'm going to go ahead and move this right into place where I want it to sit. done. Now, I'm really not done with this whole project, but it's getting late and I have to feed the rabbits. So I'm going to have to take a break and I'm going to come back and try to finish this. I may have to turn a porch light on, but I'm going to try to finish this tonight. Well, here's my indoor-outdoor thermometer. 72 degrees in the house, but it's 91 degrees outside in the bunny port. Whoa. And Willow is due today. So we need to go check on Willow and see if she's had her babies yet. Well, there's Willow. And uh, I don't see any fur in the bottom of her cage. So she may not have had babies yet. Let's get in here and take a look. Hello, Willow. How are you, Mama girl? Huh? How are you? Hmm? Come here. Yeah. Huh? How are you today? Can I check your nest box? Well, isn't she a beautiful doe? Man, I'm so glad I bought her when I did. I know I wasn't planning on it, but had too good of a deal. Whoops. <laughs> well, that's unusual for her. She's usually very sweet. So, I think she might be a protective mom, but I don't see babies right now. Yep, yeah, no babies today. Well, Maybe tomorrow. Tell you what, she played in that nest box yesterday that like she was going to have them. It's okay, Willow. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, my goodness, it's okay. It's okay. Settle down, pretty girl. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. What's up? Are you angry because I don't have a sweet potato in my hand? Huh? Is that it? I can only love on you when you, there's a sweet potato involved? <laughs> well, she does not like me fooling with that box, does she? Alright, I'm just going to leave it there. Let her mess with it. I'll check on you lady, later, pretty girl. Today's random fact is one of my favorite pastimes when I have some downtime, is to read. I really enjoy reading fiction, romance novels, especially faith-based. Uh, I really enjoy the historical romances, and my, my favorite would be the Amish romances. I also enjoy reading books, um, how-to books like homesteading, or woodcrafting, gardening, uh, canning, you know, things of that nature that 
they can learn to do self-taught uh, type books. I really enjoy. And an uh, odd one that um, I guess, I think it's odd, but I enjoy them anyway. Uh, I like reading documentaries on serial killers. <laughs> I have a fascination with serial killers, and so I like to read uh, the nonfiction uh, doc documentaries about uh, their lives, how they became uh, what they were, and how they got caught, or uh, in some cases they've not been caught yet, but uh, there's still stories about them. And so <laughs> I know that's a, a little bit different, but... I'm fascinated with serial killers. Look what I found on my porch. Isn't he beautiful? When I got home today, now I imagine this one probably won't stay. There's another one here too. You can hear him if you listen, maybe. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. Yeah, there's another one. It's a little gray tabby. When we got home today from grocery shopping, there was a mama and four babies. There was two orange and um, two orange tabbies, one gray tabby. Mom was a gray tabby, and then the other one was a gray, um, what do they call those, the Siberian? No, I don't know. Anyway, there's a, a another type. Um, it's it's kind of like the tabbies, only it's got like a circle pattern on the ribs. Um, I don't think Siberian... It's a type of tiger, that's all I can remember. Maybe it's Siberian. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how this little booger got behind the gate, but he got back there, and now he can't find his way out. There he goes. Whoop! And off he goes. <laughs>